in this video i am going to introduce the oscilloscopes concept so oscilloscopes are nothing but a display unit used to display any type of signal like a sinusoidal triangular waveform or sawtooth waveform whatever may be the signal that is going to be displayed on a crt screen uh, and crt is a part of cro entirely it is known as an oscilloscope which is used to display a signal so let us see the basic diagram of a CRT screen. Why I am uh, discussing about CRT here? CRT is the heart of any oscilloscope. CRT is, it is the heart of an oscilloscope. Yeah, heart of an oscilloscope. So here CRT means cathode ray tube. CRO means cathode ray oscilloscope. So CRT stands for cathode ray tube. Cathode ray and T for tube. This is the block diagram of CRT. It consists of an electron gun. It consists of an electron gun and two sets of deflecting plates. Two sets of deflecting plates. Horizontal deflecting plates and vertical deflecting plates horizontal deflection plates there are two horizontal deflecting plates and two vertical deflecting plates means it is clearly saying by the name itself we can understand that horizontal deflection system horizontal deflecting plate that means this plate helps the electron to move in a horizontal way whereas vertical deflecting plate is nothing but this helps the electron to move in a vertical direction so so that the electron movement can be traveled in both the horizontal and vertical directions so that a waveform is going to be created on the screen CRO screen okay and this is the electron beam that is originated at this electron gun and falling onto this phosphorus screen falling on the phosphorus screen so phosphorus screen how the light is going to be coming how the wave is going to be created so it is a phosphorus, phosphorus screen so uh, behind which it is coated with a fluorescent material okay so phos uh, fluoresc sorry fluorescent material which is helping a electron beam to give a spark when the electron beam touches the fluorescent material it produces a spark that spark behind the electron beam uh, in front of the electron in front of this uh, CRO screen it simply appears like a light okay so let us see the operation of this crt screen initially when we are giving 250 230 volts ac supply 230 volts ac supply that means when we are switching on the let us consider a cro screen let us consider a cro screen why i am saying cro is different from crt crt is the heart of cro this crt may be available in any type of display units like tvs tv is also uh, in olden days TVs are like uh, CRT TVs nothing but a tube is there one box like TVs are there now now in uh, uh, current days we have a wall hanging TVs it doesn't have any CRTs all everything is going to be operated with only IC and uh, norm, normal LCD screens but in the olden days we have a big TVs so those are uh, operated with CRTs only okay crts may be used in any type of display units whereas cro's are used commonly to display a signal especially we are uh, daily watching in our laboratories okay so let us consider a cro as an example because you are very much familiar with the cro what happens when you want to display a signal you will first switch on the cro so when you switch on the cro electron gun is going to be energized so this electron gun continuously emits so what what is the purpose of electron gun it emits the beam of electrons so continuously the beam of electrons are falling in a straight way on the screen when these electrons are falling on this screen the screen is coated with what i told you it's a coated with a fluorescent material like a phosphor so when it is coated with a phosphor when the electron touches this phosphor material there it produces a spark that spark from the front side we can say it is like a light okay suppose if you take a torch light take a torch light okay take a torch light and switch on this torch light and uh, you just focus 
give a focus of this light on the wall okay how it appears it appears like a spot it appears like a spot now with from your hand just uh, move this torch light in vertical direction at rapid rate okay touch uh, take this torch light and move in a vertical direction top and top to bottom at a fast rate then how to observe how can you observe the light on the wall it is like a strike line it is like a strike line suppose with the same torch light if you move the torch light in a horizontal way you can observe a horizontal line there also a horizontal line okay that means if the electron beam when it moves at fast rate on the CRO screen then it appears like a wave instead of a spot the same principle is also used here in the CRT screens so the movement in the vertical direction and in the horizontal direction that is completely taken care by two sets of deflection plates those are horizontal and vertical deflecting plates okay so the electron beam is moving in the horizontal direction depending upon the voltage that is applied to the horizontal plates and it moves in the vertical deflecting plate vertical uh, manner depending upon the voltage applied to the vertical deflecting plates okay now let us see how the electron beam is going to be attracted to the plate and going away from the plate how the uh, what is the waves are going to be created let us see see here let us start with a dc supply yet one particular plate very very easy very easy concept understand listen so in the first case we have applied a dc supply in the first case we have applied a dc supply to which plate we have applied v1 to v1 that means v1 is applied with a pause to how many plates are there two vertical plates and two horizontal plates total four plates so here this is vertical plate and this is a vertical plate this is horizontal plate and this is horizontal plate so totally four plates now in the first case we have taken the dc supply to a vertical plate one now the electron beam initially when there is no supply when there is no supply to any of these plates the electron beam initially is at a center like this when there is no supply to any of the plates the electron beam simply it is at the center because no plate is having no voltage okay so when the electron when the uh, plate vertical plate v1 is applied with a positive voltage electron is of negative charge and it is a positive charge and v2 is given with negative supply so as it is given with negative supply electrons are repelled and as it is a positive supply electrons are attracted so that's why the electron beam simply focused at the nearer to the plate v1 that means whichever plate is positively charged the electron is of negative charge so that is attracted see in the second case we have taken the horizontal plate h1 as the positive supply then the electron beam is moved nearer to the h1 plate and when the voltage when this dc supply is given to the plate v2 that is applied to the the electron beam is moved towards v2 and similarly when the positive voltage is given to h2 plate then the electron beam is moved towards h2 okay so this is the action of the electron beam movement of the electron beam when the electron beam is uh, when the voltage positive dc voltage is applied to all these four plates let us consider the same dc supply applied to both the plates both the plates see here in this case what we have done h1 is positively charged and again v1 is also positively applied that means we have taken two dc supplies applied parallelly to both the plates one of the horizontal plates and one of the vertical plates then what happens the electron beam is having equal potential towards v1 as well as h1 then it is going to the corner of this both the plates so here it is a, these two are having the voltages so it comes to this corner so as these two are having the voltage it comes to this corner and as these two are having this comes to the corner now instead of taking a dc supply now let us consider a full wave rectified output 
full wave rectified output so when we have taken the full wave rectified output to see what happens what is the output of full wave rectifier a cont sinusoidal signal of wave like this like this okay at this point what is the voltage zero at this point what is the voltage zero at this point what is the voltage zero here zero that means here when the voltage is at this point the electron beam is at the center again comes to the center again comes to the center again comes to the center consider the maximum voltage at this point where will be the electron beam it is having highest voltage that means nothing but positive high voltage so electron beam is going to be attracted by the split so if you are having this v1 with the full wave rectified output then the electron beam from the center it is attracted towards this plate and again when it comes to this point again it is repelled and goes to the center and again it comes to this point maximum peak it is nearer to the plate and again when it goes to this value it is going to the center so that means a straight line from center to this plate is created okay hope you understand when the electron beam is at these points where the electron beam is zero, where the voltage is zero, the electron beam is at the center. When sine wave is having maximum peak positive voltage, the electron beam is attracted towards that plate. Again, when it is zero, it going to the center. Okay, that means a half straight line is going to be created. So that means when the electron beam, when uh, H1 plate is applied with this half wave rectifier output, it creates a half wave. A half straight line from here to here when it is here here to here here to here okay so same case if you apply this full wave rectified output to both of these plates then it goes to this corner okay it is like this it is like this it is like this it is like this like a dot okay now instead of taking the full wave, uh, full wave rectifier output now if you take the complete sinusoidal signal you can easily imagine at this point it comes at the center at this point it comes to the center but at this point what happens it goes to the maximum peak whichever is plate is applied with this maximum positive supply that will attract this electron beam and uh, here it is highest negative that means it repels so that means it creates a complete straight line during this highest peak it is attracted during this uh, least uh, or highest negative peak it repels nothing but it goes to the other other end and similarly of similarly straight line similarly horizontal line like this and uh, if you are applying both the plates with uh, a continuous signals it generates some lissages patterns lissages patterns last case is known as lissages patterns Okay, Lissages patterns are created when both the plates are applied with sinusoidal signals with different phase angles. Okay, different different patterns are created depending upon different phase angle. See, here vertical plates are applied with sinusoidal, horizontal plates are also applied with sinusoidal, but what is the difference in phase angle? Phase angle is of 45 degrees. Here also phase angle is different, phase angle is difference having a difference 90 degrees. Here also phase angle is 135 degrees, here also 180 degrees. So depending upon the phase difference, we are having different different patterns. So those patterns are known as Lissages patterns. Okay. So in the next class, we will see various types of CRT screen and their operations. Thank you.